Addiction grabbing me was quick and losing myself was quick. I had just left my job with my paycheck and I spent the whole entire thing on drugs. And my kids were hungry and I made that selfish decision to not feed my children. At that point, my boys had already been taken away and I was nine months pregnant with my daughter. The whole entire time I was pregnant, I was smoking meth. I found myself so confused and so conflicted within the family values that I was brought up with, very strong Christian values, and being stuck in my addiction. I had the Bible in one hand and I had the pipe in the other. And I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do. I knew that I needed to change. I knew that my kids deserved better. When it came time for me to give birth to my daughter, I got a call from Salvation Army Family Treatment Services, and she said that there was a bed available for anyone who was willing to change their life. And that was the relief, the breath of fresh air that I had so badly needed, being able to get into treatment and to surrender and to say, yes, I have an addiction, I have a problem, and I need help. I got to this point by uh, going through treatment, uh, the classes, the parenting classes, the, the self-finding classes, and with treatment being able to open those old wounds and dig up who I used to be and find myself again, that was a huge part of my recovery. I'm grateful for the Salvation Army Family Treatment Services and every single person in there for helping me find my way. Pathway of Hope is a, another one. When I started my job, they helped with resumes. They helped look for housing. Pathway of Hope is who got me here in this home in Kahoiki Village. There were different issues that Francine wanted to get settled when she first came to the Salvation Army. First of all, she wanted to be well. She wanted to be clean and sober. She wanted um, custody of all her children. She wanted to be a mom. She wanted to be just like any regular mom. And so it was very important for us to identify those um, objectives when we first took her in as a client of the Salvation Army's Pathway of Hope program. So the case manager walked her through the different steps after coming out of the treatment program in order that she could be stabilized um, with housing, with a job, and a place of community, a supportive community. And, and now I have my own home, I have my job, you know, I'm able to provide for my children. I can look at them and be happy and not have to worry about where our next meal is coming from or how we're going to you know, pay the rent or, you know, where we're going to live. And I think the beautiful thing about the story is that it's not just our team at Pathway of Hope that really helped her be stabilized. It's actually a team of people from the time she entered the family treatment services. Having gone through treatment and having the help and the outreach and the counselors and the people who helped me, I call them my angels because they saved my life. They saved my children's mother and now I have the opportunity to not only tell them, but to show them that I can be the mom that they deserve. Today I have three years and three months sober. Salvation Army saved my life. They gave me back who I needed to be. They gave my children their mother back. Yeah.